Good news, everyone! We're back with more Futurama. This is Season 6, Episode 19. Last time, we learned about how Zoidberg and Farnsworth became friends, and how Zoidberg promised to kill Farnsworth because he thought he had dormant hypermalaria, and he stayed by his side for 84 years. Such a display of loyalty, and that episode really endeared me even more to Zoidberg. But this episode is called Ghost in the Machines. I believe Ghost in the Machine is a term used to describe the mind existing both with and separate from the body. So it sounds like somebody's going to become disembodied in this episode. I guess since we're talking about machines, it could be Bender or I guess any other number of robots in the series. Let's check it out though. Full reactions on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like, it really helps out the channel, and let's get started. As long as nothing happens for the next 15 minutes, our insurance will be reinstated. So let's Yay. run out the clock. <laughs> Sit down. Don't do anything. Get out of here, you horrific sausage! Wait, isn't today the parade? Yeah. It's just a giant balloon! St. Patty's. Real multicultural celebration. Why, when I was a boy, we had a parade every day. Every day? Those were dark times. Oh, oh. Now we just combine them all into one big parade day parade and get it over with. Looks like it's speeding up. Oh no! It's within munching distance of the Doritos flute! Munching distance. Well, that thing's getting destroyed. <laughs> nerds, Whoa. move out the way. But not the robot. A hero indeed. Hero. What's your name, son? I don't know. Fry. You don't know. Hey, gentlemen, I'm proud to associate myself with a true hero. I We're not gonna mourn the robot. Henceforth, this Saturday shall be known as Friday. Friday. That's not confusing. You could have saved a robot, but instead you saved a human. You think human life is more precious than robot life? No. Yes? No. I don't know. Well, yes, actually. Bender, you always say you're going to kill yourself, but you <laughs> almost never do. Yeah, yeah, almost never. Last time you went to the suicide <laughs> almost pool, never. you ended up dating it for six months. How is Lynn, by the way? <laughs> Stop trying to cheat the suicide. You don't need the money anymore. With pleasure, Bender. Lynn? Let's get this show on the road. Oh no. You're going to die, all right, but it won't be suicide. It'll be, be murder. murder. Who cares if you're dead? Dead X? Bender's been murdered. <laughs> Efficient. <gasps> it's for real. It's <laughs> he dangled a little dollar over him. Off caps. Or what? It's what? a sign of respect, you savage. I can't believe we'll never hear his evil laugh again. <laughs> oh. Ghost in the machine. But he'll always be with us as a trash can. Trash can. <laughs> Look at that loser getting garbage dumped in. That's you. Man, I'm not him, whoever he is. He always had my back, so I'll take his arm as a back scratcher. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pay attention to me! <laughs> Why can't anybody hear my witty remarks? This is hell! Sure, you wish! Oh! So what's happening to me? And I'll take my answer in any form but a song. Oh, you're no fun. Aw, he was so ready with it and everything. You see, Bender, SS Anything Goes. Your software was exported to the computational cloud. Wait. Adoy? Adoy? Your disembodied program is now running on the wireless network shared by all machinery. Hey, he's... Time for that. Smoke yeah, ring is infinity fast symbol. Fast Fry? I hate that guy. Fry must die. I know, right? No. I'd murder him good if only I was still alive. Hmm. Bender, would you like to make a deal? I'm not stupid. So yes, absolutely. What have I agreed to? I'll what? return you to your body after you use your ghostly powers to scare Fry to death. I like that there's no catch this time. But wait, there's a catch. Crap. If you fail, you'll spend eternity here in robot hell. Scare Fry to death? <laughs> I can do that in my sleep. Woo. Woo. What are you, deaf? He went to sleep. <laughs> oh! Whoa, sick! My software can control electronics! 
<laughs> what the? Not the armpits. Winter's Not coming. Winter's come. Oh god. As you can see, since <laughs> Winter's death, requests to bite one shiny metal ass are down ninety percent. That's those numbers are unacceptable. I'm being haunted by a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Got him all heebie jeebie from the bathroom of horrors. One more good scare and I'll be out of limbo. <sighs> Did someone say limbo? Oh, oh, I don't know. Know. Wow. Boo. Ooh. No! <laughs> Stop being ridiculous. There's no such thing as whatever you're saying. Ow, ow, ow. Whoa. Maybe you're right. I only meant to slap you twice. <laughs> All I know is I've got a ghost that needs busting. I'm sure that whatever is happening can be explained by science. <laughs> yeah, Wi-Fi. Seance begin. Seance. I said science. <laughs> Wait. Wait. I'm sensing something. Are you now? <gasps> I'm rich. <laughs> Oh, what robot would want to hunt me? Me, dumbass. Bender, <laughs> yeah, dumbass. Bender, Bender. Any more ridiculous ideas? Yes. Hallelujah. Religion. Robot religion. Now, where's this alleged apparition? Whoa. This sacramental firewall scans for and dunk, removes ghostware in dunk. a 20 foot radius. <laughs> Ooh. Ugh. Glad none of it came down on his head. Carry this at all times and the demon cannot harm you. He's sleeping so well. Oh, Let me haunt my friend. Time to lower my guard even for a minute. Even for a minute? Whoa. Heart attack? Really? Is that? Oh, <laughs> deals and deals. So give me my body. That's back. so dumb. Fries dead, you say? Funny. That's not what it says on his Wikipedia page. It's Bender. Machines, they're after me. You're suffering from machine phobia. Your only hope is to go to the Amish homeworld. The only machine I'll ever miss is Bender. Say what? Yeah. <laughs> but he's gone. I realize how valuable a robot life can be. Uh. As a reminder, passengers are limited to two carry-on butter churns. Butter churns? I'm sorry, Fry! I'm sorry! That is the most ridiculous spaceship ever. There's no way that would work. You get a hat, and a suit, and a beard. Oh. Nice try, Fry. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Someone come to visit. Brother Fry, thou hast visitors. Yay! Oh, well, oh. In. Yo, Big Bonnet, move your ugly but modest head covering. All right, you can't hear me. Oh, I hear you. Oh. Loud and clear. Take me to hell for all eternity. Just as long as my little bearded meat bag gets to live. Aww. That he will not. For you see, it is your fate to kill him. Have you noticed that animals are sometimes spooked by robot ghosts? So what? I hate animals. Oh, God. I'll just jump <laughs> into a machine and get his attention that way. Oh, Devil robot. There aren't any machines Devil on robot. this planet. There's one, you rusty old dummy. Look out for that bowling barn. Fry! Oh my god. Is that thou? I love you! Oh, I love you. Yes, crush. You still lose, Bender. You failed to kill Fry, so you are banished to hell. <sighs> as far as I'm concerned, I won. Yay. Okay. You may oh god, he has to listen to music. When subjected to this lyric. <laughs> oh. Hey, where are you going? I don't know and I don't care. Because he gave his life, or gave his soul, his body for... Boy, this guy. Fry? I want to go back to robot. <laughs> Shut up, God. I regular Earth. Yeah. Oh. Hey, what are you... Ow! Hey, stop that! Yeah, just oh, Bender. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> He's back. Oh, Bender. Bender, <laughs> I missed you so much. Uh... Hey, wait, did you haunt me? A little bit. Yes. A lot. <laughs> he didn't say anything. 
Uh, that was such a dumb episode. Oh, Bender. He couldn't keep eye contact with Fry, just super guilty conscious for haunting Fry like that. Super funny. So yeah, Ghost in the Machines wound up being about the mind existing and operating separate from the body, but it's also about the literal ghost Bender possessing a bunch of machines, so clever title there. And the idea of a parade day parade, none of the parades get to really shine, and I mean also there were too many parades to deal with in the past, one every day sounds like a logistical nightmare, but also all of them in one day also sounds like a logistical nightmare. But yeah, Fry winds up saving a guy from being crushed, but there was a robot right next to him who died, and nobody seemed to care except for Bender. But the city celebrates Fry, even naming that Saturday every year Friday. Definitely doesn't seem all th too thought out. But Bender was upset that he saved the human and not the robot, said he was going to kill himself because of it, but that's apparently a threat that he makes pretty often. Can't believe Bender actually wound up dying for once though, because he's taken so much of a beating before. I think just last episode his head was split in half, right? And he's been shot and buried alive, but no, it's like the ex-girlfriend that killed him. It's a little weird to think about because he meant to commit suicide using her, but was murdered instead. If your tool of suicide is sentient and decides to kill you as you were going to use it to commit suicide, is it still suicide? Or is it technically a murder-suicide even though only one person died? This is going to hurt my brain. And then we got to see the robot devil. He's such a ridiculous character. Bender was just having none of his singing this time around though. But the devil still holds a grudge against Fry for switching hands with him, and when he hears that Fry values human life over robot life, he gets murderous. Well, he wants Bender to kill Fry in exchange for reviving Bender. Bender, though, being the jerk that he is, agrees to do it. It was fun seeing Bender haunt Fry. One moment I really, really loved was Bender saying that he just needs to give Fry one more scare and he'd die and Bender could get out of limbo, and Hermes was like, did I hear the word limbo? That is such an understated joke and it's so, so good. And yeah, Fry gets scared in the silliest ways. The toast was burned in two pieces. One says Bo and one says Ooh. And Fry wasn't scared at the first half, but he was scared when they came together to say Boo. It was ridiculous. And then Planet Express realized that there might be a robot ghost or something, and they decided to try to hold a seance. Farnsworth was like, I said science, not seance. And when that didn't work, they went with robot religion. Or Pastorbot, what was his name? Anyway, Farnsworth was so frustrated with that. And yeah, Bender actually gave Fry a heart attack that he survives, thanks Obamacare. And Fry was bedridden, and that doctor's cleavage wasn't helping. That was such a dumb joke. But he wound up going to the Amish planet to escape all the machines. And the Amish spaceship was just hilariously low-tech. There's no way that would have be able to escape Earth's gravitational pull, but super funny. Uh, Bender wound up giving up his chance for life by saving Fry and gets pulled to Robot Heaven. He tries to take over Robot God, which is just hilarious, and he just pisses off God so much that he sends him back to Earth in his original body. Ugh, it's so dumb. <laughs> this episode does make me wonder, though. If dead robot sentience is stored in the public consciousness of other robots, does that mean that there are a bunch of other robot ghosts out there? Are all of them in Robot Hell, or in Robot Heaven, or are there stragglers roaming the Earth? And is only the Robot Devil capable of interacting with them? I bet we'll never touch on this idea again, but... Anyway, thanks for watching, this was very silly. Full reactions on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like, it really helps with the channel. I'll see you guys next time with more. Bye, friends.